Hello, today I am going to show you how to make Windows 8.1 look looks like Windows XP. And technically I believe you can actually make Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10 look like Windows XP. But since my operating system is Windows 8.1, it's more specifically on how to make Windows 8.1 look like XP. Don't worry, there are uh, other instructions on the site that I will show you for those with a different operating system. So first, you will want to open up an internet browser, of course, I just said website. And once, once again, don't worry, I will include all links down in the description below. Let's see if I can, there we go, it's running slowly, I should have probably make sure like Windows Update or whatever is turned off. And you will want to go to winxpforlife.tk. As you see here, um, this website will allow you to download the Ultra UX theme patcher, which will allow you to install third party themes. And there's different things you can download, like the Windows XP Luna theme. And there's others like Royal Blue, Silver Luna, and other things here. But the one that looks closest to Windows XP is the version 2 Luna theme, right there. First, you will want to go over here to the Ultra UX theme patcher. Click download. Click save file. Even though I've already done this, so I'll just do it again to help walk you guys through this. Click yes. Click next. Click I accept. Next. I agree. Install. And as you see with mine, it says nothing to do because I've already downloaded this. So there isn't really anything to do. And donations, no one needs to do that. Once you have that up, go back to the Win XP for Life website and click whichever theme you want to use down here. For this one, I'm using just the basic XP Luna theme. I would click Save, OK. You can save it as whatever title you want. Go over to that. Go to this. You click Extract All. Extract. Scan over. You would copy. Then you'll go over to this PC, double click on your hard drive there. And let's see if I can remember how I did this. Yeah, double click on Windows, scroll over to Resources, Themes, and then you would click Paste. I'm not because I already have a theme there, I don't want a double the same thing. Wow, can I speak today? No, apparently not. You will click paste. I will not because I don't want my thing to show up twice under the personal personalization area. But once you have that, you would go click personalize. And it should show up under install themes. Luna version 2. Click on it. Uh, 
Oh, well, uh, you're practically three-fourths there. Now, the little bar down here doesn't really look like Windows XP, does it? To fix that, you go over there, click Properties, switch to Combine when Taskbar is full, and use Small Taskbar Buttons. Click Apply. OK. Now, to get the Start button and Start Menu from Windows XP, you'll want to go to Classic Shell and download their application. Classic Shell. Classic Shell. Go there. Once again, I'll have all these links down in the description below. And you would just click download and just install it from there. If you're afraid of having this little weird look there, that will happen if you're on the internet when you change the theme. Don't worry, once you uh, X out the browser and open it back up, it should be fine. But once you have Classic Shell installed, let's see. You just start the application. And just choose the settings that I have here. I actually downloaded that button from the Win XP for Life website. I scrolled down to here. I clicked the button I wanted. Clicked save image. And I just saved it to pictures and when I had to or did I do doc whatever, I saved it to one of these folders here earlier when I first downloaded the picture. And when I decided to add in a custom button, I just selected the folder that I saved the picture to so I can have the Windows XP button. You will want the classic with two columns. And just kind of mess around until you have it set up the way you like it. Try to find which one that I really used here. Oh, yes, go to skin, choose Windows XP, Luna, skin variation, blue. Show user picture, that's what I did, and name, so it would be very similar to how Windows XP looks. And that's about it, unless you want to go and also mess with the settings for the what is it? File Explorer. That's it. The File Explorer. But I'm not gonna show that because all that does is just add in some dash lines linking folders and files together. Nothing too fancy. So. That's how you make Windows 8.1 look like Windows XP. You can also do this on Windows 7 and 10, but you'll have a lot more to do with Windows 10 since how they had things managed, they changed that up. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you disliked it because, you know, XP is boring, you want to know how to make your Windows look like Windows 7, don't worry, I'll make another video about that later. But you can still dislike if you disliked. And now I'm realizing how long this video really was. So, goodbye, subscribe, like, check out other videos. Happy New Year.